This video is brought to you by the FMB shop where you can find some of the best scale 400 models. Find the link in the video description below. Today we will look at a model that if we were to believe a certain German die cast manufacturer would be impossible to make and yet here we are. And once again thanks to the great prices of the FMB shop we will take a closer look at it. And with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at our Boeing 737-800 of Ryanair. Now, we have the front of the box, we have a schematic of the aircraft and then the branding of the airline incorporated into the color scheme of the airline. Quite neat. The same design is then reused on the back side of the box and sure, it's nothing, you know, majorly special, but it just uses some simple elements and the color scheme of the airline and puts it together in a quite decent looking box design. I mean, it doesn't have to be more complicated than this. Now, a quick note on the topic of licensing. Obviously, anyone can print whatever on a box, so just because it says on the box that this is officially licensed doesn't necessarily mean that it is. On the other hand, there is no reason not to believe it. So when other manufacturers say that it is just impossible, well, here we are. Another quick little side note before we get into the review of the model. NG Models has a loyalty program. Other manufacturers do offer similar things, but what is good about the NG program is that you get loyalty points regardless of if you are buying the model from NG Models directly or at a retail store. If you want to know more about the program, you can pause the video here and read to the text on this little card. And here it is, the model that other diecast manufacturers tells us should not exist. The 737-800 in the standard livery of Ryanair. And even though it is a standard aircraft from Ryanair, there's one detail you probably already have noticed that is a little bit different about the model, and that is the fact that it has the split scimitars, an update to the Ryanair fleet that the airline has only recently started introducing into their fleet. But this is just one of the many details we want to take a closer look at when we go through this aircraft model. So fasten your seatbelt and let's get going. And we start our tour around the aircraft model with a look at the tail section where we on the vertical stabilizer have the Ryanair branding. On the fuselage we then find the flag of the Republic of Ireland and the full registration code of the aircraft. Notice also some lovely detailing around the horizontal stabilizer with the angle of attack markings that have been printed on. And towards the very tail of the aircraft, we do also have a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. Then at the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage, we have the uh, typical billboard writing here with Ryanair and the Ryanair harp. Of course, we also have uh, plenty of static ports and other small markings like some details here at the front cabin door. So that overall looks pretty realistic, if you ask me. From there, we can move on to the cockpit section. Now, here we do find the cockpit windows with the window wipers and also very lovely some detailing around the ray dome and some patio tubes. However, there's one detail that I'm not quite happy about, and that's actually the cockpit windows. I guess the shape itself is quite all right. Maybe it's the placement. Maybe it's actually the mold here. But this, for me, looks a little bit strange. But moving on to the engine nacelles that, of course, also have the uh, lovely yellow stripe that we have across the fuselage. Underneath that, of course, then also the dark blue. But we have, of course, also some safety markings, some hatches looking really nice alongside the silver leading edge. And also the physical detailing of these engines is actually, I think, pretty good. I think that looks quite lovely. And especially also here from the front, very, very nice. You can see the engine fan blades. Then on the fuselage, just above the wings, we have the emergency exits printed on. This leads us straight to the wings, which we should definitely also take a closer look at. Starting over the top side, here we have the different flap slats and spoilers carved out. However, that's kind of drowned away a little bit with the grey paint of the wings, so that's a shame. But we do have lovely markings, like the markings for the emergency exits or as to where to walk on the wings, so that's quite great. The underside of the wings has more nice physical detailing, and we also find the full registration code. And then, of course, we also have, as I mentioned, in the beginning of the video, these lovely split scimitars with the Ryanair branding. My highlight on the wings, however, is the addition of the landing lights. Now, before we take a look at the remaining details, there is a quick message from our sponsor today. 
Are you looking for new scale 400 models? Then look no further, the FMB shop has got you covered. With NG models, JC Wings and Gemini Jets, the FMB shop has got some of the best models in the business. And even better, with day one discounts, pre-order discounts, and every now and then special offers. And with what I like to call prices like in the good old days, the FMB shop website and Instagram account are always worth a look. They do of course also have scale 500 and 200 on offer. So find your next favorite model on the FMB shop. The links you can find in the video description below. Now, a look at the landing gear reveals some nice work by NG models with painted in wheel caps. The landing gear is of course made out of metal where the wheels are made out of plastic. There is some lovely printed detailing here at the front landing gear and of course, as in most scale 400 models these days, the landing gear is rolling. From the landing gear, we can then move on to our next detail. That's, of course, the doors to the cargo compartments that have been printed on here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. And speaking on printed details, well, we have more of them and also physical detailings. When we look at the top of the fuselage, for example, we have a lovely mixture between physical antennas and printed details. I really think NG Models has done a pretty decent job with that and the same goes when we look at the underside of the aircraft where we also have an array of physical antennas and printed details going nicely alongside each other. So there we have it, the Boeing 737-800 in the standard livery of Ryanair from NG models in scale 1 to 400 and what can we say about this aircraft model? Well, overall, I must say, I think this is a brilliant model from NG Models with a pretty high quality, meaning, for example, the physical antennas, they are solid as a rock. Also, the rolling landing gear, something that I'm normally not a huge fan of, mainly because I'm afraid that it will break. I'm not as afraid with this aircraft model because I feel like the landing gear does have a sufficient sturdiness while remaining nimble and well scale like in terms of print quality i think ng model is top notch with this aircraft model there are no smudges and we have a plethora of small details across the entire aircraft really making it lifelike however there's one point where i'm a little bit more hesitant to praise it and that's the cockpit section itself mainly the cockpit windows there's something about them that i'm not quite happy about but i can't quite put my finger on what it is if it's the shape of the windows the placement of it's more to do with the shape of the mold here there's something off in my opinion but i do acknowledge that i don't have a huge experience with the scale 400 ng mold of the 737 so if you have an input here on what could be wrong with this let me know in the comment section below and of course also your general thoughts on this aircraft model but with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more scale 400 reviews here on the channel, then be sure to leave a like. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? With that, thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.